I'm going to talk a little bit about the takeaway or an intro piece to one of my favorite drills, which is a set and then hit it from there. So I'm going to set this stick up across my target line or my toe line just to give me an idea of what straight is. So when I look down, I can see straight. So I'm going to take my setup, my normal everyday that we've worked on setup. And from here, the pieces that I want to feel take the club back is I want to feel like the club head's going up from my wrist. I want to feel like my shoulder goes down a little bit. And when those two things happen, I want to feel like my arm kind of bends into my side. So it's three pieces. One, two, three. And when we put all those three together, it kind of looks like this. All right, so we can stop this and measure this right here. We're looking at a club that's even with the ground, but it's also even with our toe line. The handle of the club somewhere close to my leg and the club toe of the club is somewhere up 12 o'clock, maybe from my view over here at 11 o'clock. We're looking at left wrist, left shoulder, right elbow, right there. Not any body movement, not any leg movement. We're just going to set the club right here. So from the, this type of a view, we're seeing a couple things happen. We're seeing my arm start here and move across my chest a little bit, creating a little bit of a squeeze point right here. But we're also seeing the club start to get leveraged from my left wrist because that's the job of my left wrist. You can see from that view right here that it's hinging the club basically straight up along the arm line. And you can see from there that the club's moving up away from the ground as the handle goes down a touch. So we're going to try and get to this position, this from setup right to here, doing those three things. And if we can maximize those three, holding it right there from here, let's work on the rest of the swing by taking it up and hitting it.